Iman Godzi may be the fastest growing business creator this year, skyrocketing to over 2.5 million subscribers in what felt like a blink of an eye. And I'm sure all of us ask ourselves the same question, how is this guy making his money? In this video, we'll be taking a closer look together. Iman does a great job of omnipresent marketing. This means he has a presence on almost every social platform. We're talking Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, you name it he's on there. This is something everyone with a personal brand should be striving for. By having a presence on every platform, his brand awareness is massive and it results in tens of thousands of people going through his funnel. If you haven't guessed it already, Iman's main top of funnel content is his YouTube. He treats it as his pillar content for everything else. Keep in mind, he's growth hacked the hell out of TikTok, Instagram, and a few other platforms I mentioned before, amassing multiple millions of followers across dozens of accounts. With all his success, he's also done an awesome job of maintaining a great image and personality throughout his career. As we scroll through his channel, it's very branded. Every single one of his videos looks appealing to watch, something I think a lot of creators aren't doing enough of, myself included. We'll get there. There's a lot of content pertaining to making money, which is what he built his following off of at first. However, he mixes in other types of content to appeal to a larger audience. You can notice this if you pay attention to his thumbnails and video titles. They're niche specific while staying relatively broad. It's perfect for the audiences he's aiming for. He posts day in the life videos, vlog content, and him blowing money, something that we probably all wish we could do. One thing about Iman's channel is that there's an immense amount of social proof on it. If you scroll down, you'll see that he's documented his entire journey from zero to 30 million. He's one of the only business creators who's done this and it obviously paid off big time. I also noticed that every single one of his videos is educational, high retaining, and they leave you wanting more trapping you in his ecosystem of content. That's something that top creators like Mr. Beast do very well at as well. Maybe I'll have to make a video on him in the future. Watch the rest of the video if you want to see that. Now that we know how Iman is nurturing his audience, the real question is, what's he selling people on? Well, there's two main things. It's his SaaS and his course. Let's look into his course first. It's called Grow Your Agency and it's an all-in-one experience for learning how to start and scale your agency. It seems Iman markets this through his YouTube and his email list. However, his recent push for this was through a digital renaissance series earlier this year, which was all just a marketing stunt for his course and it fucking worked. You see, Iman built a lot of fear around the world ending, banks becoming insolvent, and poverty striking the entire world. And he framed building a social media marketing agency as the only way to escape. And who better to teach you than him? It's pretty textbook sales. He created FOMO and authority while marketing his course. And one thing I really liked about his course is the landing page itself. It's super well done, the copy is on point, and he actually provides users with a ton of free resources reaffirming Iman's belief of always providing value first. Now, I'm 90% sure that he generated over seven figures once he reopened his course this past month, but I can't say for sure. I've heard decent things from his course, but I would never pay the 5K since I'm probably levels above what he teaches. Now, the next part of Iman's funnel is really solid, and it's something we see a lot of popular creators like Jordan Welch pivoting towards as well. And that's SaaS. In case you don't know what SaaS stands for, it's software as a service. It truly is the new goldmine because SaaS has higher profit margins, up to 80 to 90%, requires less work to fulfill since it's automated, and has a bigger exit potential. You can sell your SaaS for 5 to 10x your yearly revenue. And so Iman has been building his SaaS in silence for the past few years. It's called Agency Flow. This is an all-in-one hub for both agencies and general business owners. It's a software that helps you manage tasks, chat with clients, send invoices, and so much more. It's pretty much an all-in-one platform. And his goal with this is to eradicate tools like Monday.com and Slack which are common things agencies use. As cool as the SaaS is, as a marketer, it's astounding to see the way Iman actually sells this SaaS. You see, Iman preaches agencies to be the number one business model through his content. From there, he funnels you to his course, which then teaches you how to build an agency. And then he provides you with a platform to help you automate your agency. It's pretty much genius. He has built an infinite ecosystem. He provides you with all the tools and all you have to do is take action. And I bet Grow Your Agency students also get some sort of wicked discount for agency flow. And now what's even more interesting is that there's another layer to Iman's funnel. And that's his clothing company, Godzi 
One of his trademark products are his Godsey glasses, which coincidentally are blue light blockers. And it's perfect for people who are in front of screens all day, hence the people that he already has in his funnel. This is yet another upsell. Sure, it might be a small ticket upsell, which is nothing compared to the price of the course, but at scale, that's a lot of bread and a solid potential exit for an e-commerce brand. Now, of course, we don't know exactly how much Iman makes, but let's think about it. He gets tens of millions of views a month on his videos across all his platforms. And if he had a thousand people buy his high ticket course this year, if the course was $5,000 per person, 5,000 times a thousand is $5 million. Of course, I'm sure he sells his course for different prices depending on what the student needs, but that's just an example. This just really shows the raw power of a personal brand once again. Now, before I end off this video, I just wanna summarize with a couple key points what we can take away from Mr. Godsey's funnel. The first one being to go heavy on personal branding. As somebody who personal brands myself and coaches people with a personal brand, I can tell Iman really does put in the hours of time into each and every single one of his videos and pieces of content. I mean, it obviously pays off, but he has also a massive team that he invests into to help him push this quality of content. But before making content for yourself, make sure to research your ideal customer profile and cater your content towards that person. Maximize the quality and the consistency of the content you push out, and I promise you will be rewarded sometime down the line. The next tip I wanted to give you is to maximize the utility of your products. And I know that may sound weird right now, but let me explain. So every single one of Iman's products can be integrated with the previous one. His course, his software, and his lifestyle company are all intertwined. You can think of it like the Apple ecosystem. Once you have one of the products, you might as well get all the products because they're all under the same software. And that is the way to go if you wanna build a sustainable and extremely profitable brand. So lastly, I wanna remind you guys to test out radical marketing strategies. Iman filmed a three-part docuseries for his YouTube. It took half a year to film, but I wouldn't be surprised if it brought in multiple millions of dollars in revenue. It's pretty worth it, wouldn't you say? And with that being said, step outside your comfort zone, test a ton of different content. You never know what's going to hit. And if you enjoyed today's video, leave a comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe. And if you want the Mr. Beast video, put that comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.